I'm a lifetime resident of Pike County, actually a third generation resident of Pike County. And I was first appointed in 2018 to replace a retiring commissioner. And then I ran once in 2019. And it's the only other time I've run for office. I'm a business owner here, and I've created first-generation businesses that are significant businesses, the largest recreational businesses in Pike County, and also as the executive director of a camp operation that's the largest in Pike County. So I just felt that it was time for, to get even more involved, even though I had been on many boards and volunteered for many type, many community service things throughout my years in business. I felt that it was time to give back more, and I felt that I could provide the leadership because of my business background and because of my com community activities to help Pike continue into the future. I bring to the table, I embrace technology, and I believe that technology can make our services more efficient and could, again, lead us in into the future. I also have extensive background in managing people and creating benefit packages and facility management, all because of my interest in my own businesses. So for all of those reasons, I ran. Why am I continuing to run? Because there's unfinished business. And for me, if anybody has heard me speak throughout the last four years, my number one priority is, is health care services. And we have been successful in bringing a tick-borne uh, disease center into the center of, of the county, and we've also facilitated opening up a, a women's health clinic. From my time on the board of trustees at Way Memorial, I was able to put Way Memorial and a local physician together to create space for a women's health center. So we've done that. The next step is we're going to be opening up two urgent care center centers. They're, all, they're called a lot of different things. One in the Dingman's Ferry area, in the center of our population base, and the other up in the Lake Wall and Paul Pack corridor, which is probably the most uh, populated by tourism and the industry that is most important to Pike County, continues to be tourism and hospitality. That is the main reason that I'm running. We also have a number of other things that I feel are unfinished and I'd like to complete during the next four years. Let's talk a little bit more about that uh, access to healthcare in, in areas in Pike County. Considering that the Pike County lacks a hospital, will you talk about what measures you have done and, and what measures you you plan to do to you know guarantee that residents in any every part of Pike County has qu high quality healthcare service? So what I've been able to facilitate um, during my time here is a relationship with a number of of providers and. Since my very first day in office, we went to nearly every provider that existed in the Northeast and in the tri-state area to see if there was interest in coming to Pike County. In the end, we did find a company, a large company out of New York, Northwell Health, and they actually contacted us because a lot of their executives have homes in Pike County on Lake Wall and Paul Pack. So that started a conversation about three years ago and has ended with the, the commitment that they would build two urgent care facilities and now uh, a commitment to build a community hospital with a, with a partner in Pennsylvania. That partner is going to be the Lehigh Hospital System out of uh, a little south of Pike County. So the partnering of the two substantial health care providers coming into Pike County is a really positive and motivating thing for me because we've introduced them to Pike County, but more so for the residents. Uh, a community hospital will touch every single resident of Pike County and lead us into the future with something that Pike County has never had, and, and, and that is a, a, a hospital system that has two urgent cares and a, and, a, and a hub that's a hospital. It'll help our EMS services much better because they won't have to travel as far when, when an ambulance shows up at your door. So I think that's where we are with healthcare right now. One of the concerns uh, voiced by some Pike residents uh, pertains to the impending construction of a sizable warehouse in Milford. Uh, they worry about the potential issues with increased traffic, strain on local infrastructure, and the warehouse's location, which is said to be directly above an aquifer. 
The question that arises is, can Pike County effectively manage the growth while safeguarding the environment, or this is... Or, or is this a challenging balance to strike? It is a challenging balance to strike, but it's an important balance. I have stated from the very beginning, I am against anything that can impair the water quality in the in in the residents. Uh, and, and in this situation, the residents of the Milford Borough and that area right there that have a an aquifer that supplies their water. I think you've probably heard this from every other commissioner that you've talked to. This is a municipality concerned, and they create zoning. They create the possibility it within their municipality and zone it for what can happen in each of their zones. And that is an area that is zoned with the uh, listed use as a warehouse. However, I also think that there's going to be great concern given to this project because that it sits on the aquifer. And, and, and as the municipality works through this, and and as they uh, continue to to look at the project, it will move on to the state and and DEP, and then it will move on to the federal government with the EPA, and along with another a, a, a lot of other organizations. It's also point, important to note that our solicitor has advised us to as commissioners to make sure that we do not take a stance on it, no matter how we feel personally about it. As a commissioner, we should not take a stance on it because this could end up in our own court system someday. And if it does, whoever is taking us to court will say that they cannot get a fair trial here because we've come out one way or the other on it. Yes, it's a careful balance. It's a very challenging project. I will also point out that on that same property, there's two gas stations. There's a PennDOT salt facility. There's a business park, and there's residential housing, and there's also some commercial business already up there with, I believe, no protection of the aquifer. So I'm hoping that bringing this project to the forefront provides for a future where the aquifer can be uh, protected with all of the things that are up there. And I think in the end, it's very possible that something positive can happen to protect the aquifer into the future. Given the scarcity of affordable housing in the country and also in certain areas of Pike County, how do you plan to ensure continued accessibility for housing for all residents in Pike County? It's a, it's a also a, a complicated one, and we and there has been a, a fair amount of housing built in in the Matamoras corridor in the in Westfield Township because. It is the only place with infrastructure. Our biggest hurdle in everything that we do as far as development, either residential or commercial, is the lack of infrastructure. And that lack of infrastructure limits what we can do. Along with affordable housing is worker housing. And because our our jobs are, are dominated by the hospitality and resort and tourism industries, they're typically jobs that don't pay very well and don't fit the climate that we have with housing. So that's another area we want to work with the major tourism providers in the county to come up with programs and come up with partners for them to build affordable housing for their workers and and local workers, not workers that come from other places, but local workers that, that work in within the county. We're very unique in that the largest employer in our county is a resort, and usually it's a hospital or a school or um, uh, or a, a large business. It's rarely a resort. In Pike County, it's a resort. Well, let's move on to uh, another topic here that's concerning uh, for all of the nation and for local residents in Pike County, uh, opioids. Now, I know you're the incumbent, but do you believe the county is currently taking enough action to address this issue? And, and what additional measures do you believe can be implemented? And how do you plan to contribute to the positive change in this regard? I don't think you can ever do enough. And it's something that is an issue throughout our country, probably throughout the world. We were one of the first to sign on to the opioid lawsuits that have resulted in significant money being distributed to the county. One of the steps that we, we, we're doing a couple things. One, we're creating a, an awareness campaign with a marketing company that will make people aware of, of, of the opioid crisis. And secondly, with the um, partnership with the DA's office, 
we have created a new position, and that will be for someone to not only manage the monies that are coming from these settlements, but to be ongoing in managing the crisis that is the opioid crisis. That full-time professional person will work within the county every day and every hour to try to help people understand the crisis and try to, to, to manage the crisis in a way that we hope creates a safer environment. But I agree with you. I don't think we can ever do enough because it, it is a very difficult challenge to the entire country, but we will do everything we can in Pike County to make sure that there's an awareness and there's a program to manage it. Before we go, why should folks vote for you over any of your opponents? I think I bring a unique set of skill set to this. As a long-term business owner of businesses that employ a lot of people in our main industry, that it's tourism, I think I represent a lot of people in Pike County. Secondly, I've lived here and been active in the community my entire life. I care for the community. I care for each and every neighbors. I understand the job because I've been doing it and I was involved before I was doing it. And I don't think there's another candidate that has the employment qualifications that I have. And Pike County employs about 450 people. Attracting and maintaining uh, employees to provide quality services is paramount to any success that anyone would have in this job. It's a complicated job. There are not only employment issues, there's contractual issues, and a lot of the things that happen in business happen in, in, in government. And I think that the skill set that I've created over 35 years of owning my own businesses puts me in a, a unique position to be qualified to lead the county. Ron, thank you so much for talking to us. We're talking to Ron, who's running for re-election to the Pike County Board of Commissioners on the Republican line. Thank you so much for talking to us and letting us know your thoughts on the issues. Thank you. For Radio Catskill, I'm Patricio Rubio.